33 days to reclaim your greatness. A message from Grimface. I know how it feels to be burned out, drifting without direction, without purpose, as if the very ground beneath you has crumbled. This isn't just a feeling, it's the design. The modern world, with its endless distractions, has stripped away our connection to who we are, leaving us grasping at false dreams, false identities, false lives. It's as though everything around us is a carefully constructed illusion. Puppet states, puppet technology, pulling the strings of our every thought and movement. But I'm here to tell you that you can cut those strings. You can break free. There's a way out of the suffocating fog, a way to find clarity, to reconnect with the primal force that once burned within you. But it's not easy. It requires sacrifice. It requires something most people are too afraid to even contemplate. You must disappear. Not in the literal sense, but in the spiritual and mental sense. You must vanish from the life you know for 33 days. Leave behind the noise, the distractions, the constant pull of technology. The world you know is nothing but a cage, a gilded prison designed to dull your instincts and suppress your will. To escape this, you need to disconnect entirely. You need to go to a place where the artificial world can no longer reach you. A place where silence reigns, where nature whispers truths you've long forgotten. For the next 33 days, your life must become a pilgrimage. Leave your phone behind. Leave the internet behind. Leave the artificial noise behind. I'm not talking about a vacation. I'm talking about exile. Self-imposed, deliberate exile from the modern world. Take only what you need to survive. Go east to where the old ways still hold power. Or west to the forgotten corners of the earth, where man has yet to lay waste to the land. In these places, you will find the answers that have eluded you for so long. The first step is simple, yet profound. Disconnect. Unplug from the digital world that has enslaved your mind. We live in a society where we're constantly bombarded by notifications, messages, and updates. It's all designed to keep you dependent, to keep your mind weak, malleable, and distracted. Every beep, Every buzz, every piece of content you consume is just another hook sinking into your consciousness, pulling you further away from yourself. When you leave it behind, when you sever that connection, you'll feel the weight of a thousand invisible chains falling away. The fog will start to lift. Then, you must seek a vision. Without a vision, you are nothing. Vision is the light that guides you through the darkness. In the silence of nature, far from the cities that have hollowed out your soul, your intuition will awaken. It has been drowned out by the cacophony of the modern world, but in the stillness, it will speak again. This vision will not be handed to you. It will rise from deep within, like a long-forgotten memory, reminding you of who you truly are. Only then will you understand the purpose you've been searching for and only then will you have the strength to pursue it relentlessly. For 33 days, you must live like a nomad. Forget the comforts you've grown so accustomed to. Let go of the soft beds, the warm showers, the conveniences that have made you weak. Instead, sleep on the hard ground. Feel the earth beneath you. Let the cold night air bite at your skin. Reacquaint yourself with discomfort. This is how you rebuild your resilience. This is how you relearn to appreciate the smallest things in life. When you return, the things you once took for granted, a warm meal, a roof over your head, will no longer be seen as entitlements, but as blessings. And with that gratitude, you will find a strength you never knew you had. Next, travel with little money. Strip away the illusion of wealth the false value you've placed on material possessions. In this journey, you will learn the true meaning of abundance. Not in dollars, but in experience, in humility, in the generosity of others. 
go east to the places where simplicity still holds sway. You will live humbly, but in that humility, you will find a richness that far exceeds any amount of money. You will encounter people who have nothing by modern standards, but whose hearts are full. Their hospitality will open your eyes. Their generosity will heal your soul. Along the way, you must keep your eyes open for those who walk the same path. In this broken world, it's easy to feel isolated, as though no one else understands what you're going through. But the truth is, there are others. Wanderers, seekers, people who, like you, have chosen to break away from the herd. These are the true warriors, the ones who have taken destiny into their own hands. In them, you will find kinship. In their struggle, you will see your own. And together, you will find the strength to continue your journey. And when your 33 days come to an end, you will return, but you will not be the same person who left. You will come back with clarity. You will know what truly matters and what is nothing more than noise. You will see clearly who deserves to stay in your life and who must be cast aside. And in that clarity, you will be free to rearrange your life as you see fit. This is how you grow, not just in wealth, but in power, in wisdom, in spirit. Only when you strip away the excess can you begin to build something real, something lasting. If you're unsure where to begin, let me tell you. Seek out the old monasteries, the ancient sanctuaries of silence and contemplation. Even if you don't have faith, it doesn't matter. I had no faith when I arrived, yet I was welcomed. Travel to Mount Athos, a place where the old ways have been preserved for over a thousand years. It is a place of reverence, of solitude, where men go to find themselves. It is a place where you will be stripped bare, where the illusions of the modern world will be peeled away, and what remains will be your true self. But remember, this journey isn't for everyone. It is not for the faint of heart. It is for those who are ready to confront the darkness within themselves. It is for those who are willing to endure the silence, the discomfort, the solitude, in order to emerge on the other side stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. Disappear for 33 days, and you will return a new person. The world you left behind will no longer have power over you. The lies, the distractions, the false promises, they will crumble to dust. In their place, you will find your true purpose, your true strength, your true self. This is how you reclaim your honor. This is how you stand tall in a world designed to break you. This is how you find yourself again. But this path, this act of disappearing, it isn't just a one-time event. It's a ritual, a necessary pilgrimage that every soul in search of meaning must make more than once. You see, the chains of modern life are insidious. They creep back when you're not looking. The constant barrage of artificial pleasures and distractions is relentless, designed to pull you back into the slumber of complacency. And that's why, even after your return, the journey doesn't end. When you come back from those 33 days, you will feel a power coursing through you, a clarity of thought, an unshakable sense of purpose. But know this, the world will try to break you again. It will lure you back into its web of distractions and hollow promises. Your friends, your family, the people around you who never left, they won't understand the transformation you've undergone. They'll try to pull you back into the noise, into the chaos. They'll ask you why you've changed why you no longer care for the things you once did. You must be stronger than that. You must carry the silence of those 33 days with you into every moment of your life. You must protect it fiercely, as though it were a fragile flame in the middle of a storm, because the world will try to extinguish it. The world will try to smother the fire you've ignited within yourself. And that's why, even in your return, 
you must continue to disappear in smaller ways. Carve out time for yourself, moments of solitude, moments away from the digital noise, moments where you can listen to the silence once again. Every great warrior knows that battle is not a one-time event. It is a continuous struggle. And the greatest battles are not fought with weapons or in the physical realm, but in the mind and spirit. The battle to stay true to yourself, to resist the pull of the artificial world, to maintain your vision and your purpose in the face of constant temptation, that is the real war. And this war requires discipline. Discipline to wake up every day and remind yourself of the vision you found during those 33 days. Discipline to say no to the things that once tempted you. Discipline to keep pushing forward when the world around you is content to drift. Discipline to keep seeking discomfort, to keep challenging yourself, to keep living on the edge where true growth happens. That's why those 33 days are only the beginning. They're the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your life. But the structure must be maintained. The pillars of silence, vision, and resilience must be reinforced regularly. That means continuing to step away from the world, even if only for a few hours, to reconnect with the silence, to realign yourself with your vision. And in doing so, you will become unbreakable. The world will throw storms at you, it will throw temptations, distractions, challenges, meant to derail you from your path. But when you have tasted true solitude, when you have stood face to face with your own soul in the stillness of nature, you realize that nothing external can truly harm you. The noise of the world becomes just that, noise. It no longer has the power to sway you, to pull you away from your purpose. You've learned how to silence it. You've learned how to retreat into the depths of your own mind, where the true answers lie. But make no mistake, this path is not for everyone. It is for those willing to confront the dark parts of themselves. It is for those willing to live outside the bounds of society, to be misunderstood, to be feared even. Because once you step onto this path, you will never see the world the same way again. You will see it for what it truly is, a cage built to contain you, to weaken you, to keep you docile. But you will no longer be a prisoner. You will walk among the masses, but you will not belong to them. You will move through the cities, but the cities will not own you. You will see the distractions for what they are, tools of control, designed to keep the masses from realizing their own power. And while they continue to sleep, you will be wide awake. While they continue to chase after illusions, you will be walking your own path, one forged in silence, in solitude, in the pursuit of something real. And that is why you must be prepared to walk alone. The price of freedom is loneliness, at least at first. When you step away from the herd, when you carve your own path, there will be moments where the silence feels too heavy, where the solitude feels like a weight pressing down on you. But it's in those moments that you will find your true strength. It's in those moments that you will realize you are enough. You don't need the validation of others. You don't need the approval of society. You don't need the hollow comfort of the world's distractions. All you need is within you. And once you realize that, you become unstoppable. The things that once seemed so important, the accolades, the opinions of others, the constant need for external stimulation, fade away. In their place, you find something deeper, something truer. You find peace, not the peace that comes from avoiding conflict, but the peace that comes from knowing who you are and what you stand for, no matter what the world throws at you. This is your path. This is your journey. And while it may be difficult, while it may be filled with challenges and moments of doubt, it is the only path that leads to true freedom. So disappear. Take those 33 days. And when you return, come back not just stronger, but unshakable, unbreakable. 
a force that the world cannot control. Because in the end, it's not about disappearing from the world. It's about reappearing as something greater than the world could ever contain. It's about becoming a warrior in mind, spirit, and purpose. It's about reclaiming your honor, your strength, your identity. And once you've done that, nothing can take it from you. Not the world, not its distractions, not its lies. This is how you find yourself again. And this is how you remain free forever. <laughs>